Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and this is a giant American millipede. This little dude. Hello. Perfectly safe bug to pick up. They don't bite and they're completely safe. Check that out. So this is actually a giant American millipede. Look at that. It looks like something you'd find in some kind of rainforest, but they're pretty common all throughout the United States. Now this is our largest species of millipede that we have here and they can range from this kind of reddish coloration on their bands to almost being a solid black. Now this is a pretty big one, but they have gotten bumps bigger than this from what I've seen. But this isn't the largest millipede in the world. There's many species that get bigger. This is just our biggest one here in the United States. The actual biggest millipede in the world is the African giant millipede. And those guys get about 16 inches long, I believe. I mean, they're absolutely massive. They get over a foot long and they're solid black, but they do look pretty similar. Now, unlike centipedes, millipedes don't actually bite and they're not a predator. These guys are mostly omnivorous, they'll eat anything that's decaying, any kind of plant matter. Now most of the time they spend in logs, but I do see them coming out at the bases of trees right now because of some of the rain that we've been getting. They got these two little antenna out front for sensing stuff, and they can even sense chemicals in their environment and uh, different kinds of foods and stuff. It's really cool. Now these species of millipedes have a couple of different defenses. For one, they have a super hard exoskeleton. This is not, even though this guy looks kind of like a worm, He's very hard. He's got a very hard shell on him and it's very hard to break that. Not a lot of things will eat these guys, but they can also spray a not so good tasting little toxin if they get upset. And it's this kind of yellowish stuff and uh, sometimes when I, after I handle them it takes days for the stuff to wear off but my fingers will have all these little yellow blotches on them. But uh, it doesn't really affect a person just as long as you wash it off. Sometimes it can burn a little bit but uh, it's nothing too bad, just wash it off when it gets on you and it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now this little guy has some really cool reddish color to him, but they're a really cool bug to find out here. If you ever see them though and you don't want to get sprayed by them, just leave them alone. This one's not spraying me right now because it doesn't feel threatened. They have very few natural predators, but uh, sometimes when they're smaller, a broadhead skink will eat them or maybe even a large bird, but very few things will eat them because they don't taste very good. It's an amazing little bug, and look at how its legs move. It's like a little train, how it's like whoop, 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 one leg moves at a time, and it just moves the thing along. Now these guys are very common all throughout North America, and you can find them in all sorts of different forests. Here in Louisiana, I find that they like our magnolia forest and our oak forest the most. They don't really spend a lot of time near pine trees, and this is a great area to find these guys in. And I've also found that they're more big ones up in northern North America, meaning more, the more north you get, the bigger they tend to be. And down here in the south, this is about as big as they would get. And up north, they tend to be a little bit bigger and much darker colored. But this is a pretty cool one to find. He's probably about three and a half to four inches long. Now these little guys are mostly nocturnal, and that means they're going to be coming out at night. But the reason they'd be out right now so much is because of all the flooding that we've been getting. They're being flushed out of their holes or flushed out of their logs that they're living on. And these little guys live pretty peaceful lives. They don't come out too much. They normally stay in their logs or at the bases of trees. And uh, they don't really serve too many problems for people. But, uh, you know, they're a pretty widespread species, so a lot of people do end up seeing them when they come out during these little rainy times. Very cute little bug. They've got a cute little face, a little rounded face. And they're a very friendly creature. He's not minding me at all. His little antenna are going, trying to figure out where he's going. And we're going to go ahead and put him right back where we found him. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. Alright, we're gonna put him right back on his log here. There we go.